Hello everyone, welcome yeah. back. Today is Red Dead Redemption 2 Part 20. Uh, by Part 20 of the Spider-Man PS4 playthrough. That was like the last episode, but for this... No, we are not even halfway what? done. Are you here to arrest me? Arthur? Miss Karen, how are you getting up? Fine so far. <laughs> Just think I was once a damsel in distress, and now they got me protecting the men. <laughs> Just stay alert. So confused by this lawman look. So, what do you think of the place? Hey, Arthur. What's going on? Jose and John are looking for you. They went out to the moonshine stash, said you knew where that was. They was planning a visit to the Braithwaite place, but John needs to do something for Dutch now, so Hosea wants you to join him instead. <sighs> Seems to be a lot going on. You're telling me. Okay, thank you. And it looks like I am teaming up with Hosea again. Or is it John? Ah, oh, why did I not? It's John or Hosea? Oh, that's not even my horse. What am I doing? Yeah, it's John or Hosea. Okay, man, girl. <clears throat> I'm gonna give her. Uh, yeah, that's my girl. Yeah, yeah, I have bread, so that helps a lot. Alright, girl. I was wondering what this wagon was for, but <laughs> What are you doing? Selling it back to where it came from. Why? I ain't got a market for it. They made it. They must have someone to sell it to. <coughs> Stuff look kind of lonely out here. I think we'll cut ourselves a deal. Uh, I get you. You and Dutch <coughs> just doing your duty when you requisitioned it. Now I'm doing mine. All right. I should get going now. I'll leave you fellas to it. Good luck. Thank you, John. Okay. We'll see you later. Jose. I asked him to look into something to uh, do with back the Braithwaite horses. I think. Another adventure. Oh, okay. Okay, let's head out to the Braithwaite's place. You know the way? <clears throat> yeah, I've been there. So, what exactly are we doing? This is the moonshine we took after blowing up the Braithwaite still, right? I think that good citizens taking the trouble to return their stolen goods deserve some reward, don't you? And it's time we made a formal introduction, like Dutch told us. Look, these are two big old plantation wow. houses. Wow, we're playing all, all sides of this. Is they hate each other so much they can't see past it. Grace, Grace, wait. I've seen it. There's a gray boy and a Braithwaite girl <coughs> carrying on a secret affair. I've been, well, helping them. The mind boggles. You think they're of use? Not sure. They don't seem too involved in the rest of it, but maybe. Well, I'm sure there's money in this for us somewhere if we can get in the middle of it. Here we are. Modest little homestead, isn't it? Hello, gentlemen. How are you? What's that in the back there? Moonshine, my fine fellow. May I have a word with the man of the house? The man of the house is a lady, Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. May I speak with her? I want to discuss a business opportunity. I mean no harm. No harm at all. You may happily shoot me if I do. <laughs> okay, okay. She's at the house. We'll be watching you. You heard the man. Driver, proceed, please.
Okay, we're beginning good relations with both sides so we can play both sides and we're also playing the side of the sheriff. Well, yeah, since he's a gray, we're playing both of these What do you want? Found something. Out in the hills, thought... Thought maybe you was in the market for it. For what? Some liquor. I ain't in the market for what's already mine. The way we see it, it's ours. Well, with us possessing it, and I, I checked all over. For the life of me, I couldn't see your name on it. Oh. Relax, I ain't here to rob you. <laughs> oh, it seems that's easy enough. <laughs> Why not do a deal? What do you sell that stuff for? Dollar a bottle. You give us 50 cents. It's already ours. Well, look on it as a reward for finding the property. Alternative is we go sell it someplace else. The alternative <laughs> is you get shot. Now, who wants to get shot over a bottle or two of liquor? <laughs> Pay the man. Oh, she old. Gosh dang. Pleasure doing business with you. And listen, uh, we didn't take it. At least not without orders. From... Oh, I know exactly who gave you your orders. Old Sheriff Gray. You know what? I don't want it. In fact, sir, now you can do me a favor. There's an extra ten bucks if you do. Drive the stuff into Rhodes, head over to the tavern run by Mr. Gray, and give the stuff out for free. Mama! Hush now. I believe they call that a promotional expense. <laughs> As you wish, madam. You boys come back sometime and tell me how you made out. Maybe we'll play a little cribbage. All right. Bro, she Next reminds time. me of, like, the mom the from, like, Cinderella or whatever. You know, like that old creepy Here woman. Here we you know? go. Bruh. Uh, I finally sold those Cornwall bonds. Got close to a thousand for them. I wanted more, but not bad considering how hot they were, especially after that bloodbath in Valentine. No, not bad at all. Apparently, Cornwall's been pumping a lot of cash into the Pinkertons. Wants to keep their full effort on going after gangs. Gangs like us. Yeah, that don't surprise me. All right. This could get ugly. You and Dutch already have that thing going on in town with the sheriff. Yeah, Mr. Gray. That's it. Now we're inserting ourselves in his blood feud. We'll need something. I ain't playing, Dressel. You know how I feel about that. Of course you're not. You're... You're a clown's idiot brother. Mosea, please. I'm the clown. You're the idiot. Just look sad and keep quiet. Even you can do that, Arthur. Oh, I have to. Uh, put this hat on. <clears throat> Smoke this pipe. Bring your lip forward. Just a bit. Squint. Oh, perfect. Uh, what about you? Oh, shh. Sh you can't speak. You're turned idiot. <laughs> My broke poor ma'am is hot. <sighs> there, there. Fenton, there, there. Don't get mad now. Okay, Fenton, stay calm now. For Mama, she loved you so. <laughs> Just a shame you had to strangle her in a rage, right? Grab two cases of that stuff and follow me. Him. 
He's turned idiot. <laughs> Killed our mother, but it weren't his fault. How'd you boys, how'd you boys like a couple of bucks? I bet you would. One for each of you. We're in the new trade of advertising, which is an American art form about ensuring people buy the correct things. I don't know. One more dollar. Says give us half an hour. What harm can we do in half an hour? <laughs> Go along now. Enjoy the money. Come along, Fenton. Just hand out the liquor. in this here bar, in this here town, are entirely free. Yes. The only rule is that you gotta drink them. So hurry up, put old Fenton to work. Don't get him mad, though. His mama made him mad, and we buried her. Poor thing. Ah. Now come up to the bar, everybody. Come on, folks. There we go. <laughs> this is ridiculous, I love it. There you go. Drink up, drink! Uh, Moines Raiders. Good evening, gentlemen. Quiet libation. You. Me. You're the bastards who stole the liquor we was gonna buy. Gentlemen, we're in advertising. Come on in and have a drink. That's our goddamn liquor! An honest mistake! Boys, get him! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Oh, shoot. We made enough trouble in this town now. Let's go! There's more people! 
Oh shoot! Ah uh, darn! I was trying to plug in my can my uh charger to my controller. All right, but we'll retry that. Ah, uh, I'm so sorry, guys. Uh, here we go. I'm getting us out of here. Ain't gonna let this go, are they? I'm so confused. It's like they all keep on shooting and my health just gets blown away just because I'm just trying to run from them. I'm so confused. I'm getting this out of here. Ain't gonna let this I'm gonna go just try on. one then. Over there! They got out the back! Got more coming up! I see them. Well, shoot them then. You think we wouldn't find you? I just saw them coming out of the alley. Ah! He's down. Ah! Ahead of you. Oh! The moonshine. I want both those sons of bitches dead. You're already dead. You know. the heck okay I need to be healing during this I guess ah that's annoying because there's no way that I'll have enough health for all of this entire battle will occur if I don't heal you know I'm getting this out of here Oh shoot, that was a civilian? Oh.
Jeez, that was. Oh, I didn't know what was going on that first time. So. I reckon it's more they don't want another gang on their patch. Okay. Pull off the road here. All right. We're good. Yeah. Remind me never to take up a career. What was it? Advertise. You think that woman set us up? No, I don't think so. Maybe. This place is odd. Well, I keep seeing those fellas. Some local militia. Clearly not too happy to have some new competition. I'll go visit old Mob Braithwaite, see what's what. Why? We've been making money. The chest is filling up again, slowly but surely. Part of me thinks we just get ourselves good and lost. But we still need a lot more money before that can happen. So, for now, let me go give old Mrs. Braithwaite some of this moonshine as, well, let's call it a peace offering. Sure. That was fun, Fenton. We'll make an actor of you yet. <laughs> I'll go speak to Dutch. So, what do you think? About what? The fine folks around these parts. Oh, real nice. Exactly. On the one side, we have got the Gray family. Scots, degenerates, drunkards, the local law. You couldn't make this stuff up. Rich as Croesus. And on the other, their mortal enemies, the Braithwaites. Moonshiners, hypocritical, both rolling, we believe. In gold. And in the middle of it all, you got some inbred retelling of Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh, so Mike is back, I just thinking? realized. We try to rob them both. You sure? Why not? Because we got lawmen in three different states after us. Last thing I want is to get us into trouble, but we need money. Now, we have the opportunity here to put ourselves in the middle of something ain't nobody gonna know we was here. Because even without us, these fools are gonna kill each other okay, anyway. Okay, well, Jose's gone back to see that Braithwaite woman. Good. Jose should definitely take the lead on this. I sent Sean over to Braithwaite Manor, too. Now, you can meet up with them... Or join John and Javier at the Gray's place. Something to do with the Braithwaite's prize horses. Well, how the hell did we get in at the Gray's place? Sheriff Gray kindly put in a word with his father. It ain't that complicated. <laughs> we gotta convince each family that we're on their side. And then we rob them both. Before they figure out it was us that done it, and not the other lot, we'll be long gone. Think of it as payback for my daddy. Payback. I ain't in the revenge business, Dutch. Least of all for something happened a long time ago. Well, I guess we all gotta pay for something. Now, if you will excuse me, Arthur, I got to write a letter. Okay. Well, we're going to go to the camp right now because I need to switch my clothes. Well, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go this and then we're going to switch back so all my stuff is clean. So, no coat. Uh, vest, it was, I didn't realize I had all these vests, oh, that is a nice one, but we're gonna go with what we had, which is this one, and then, shirt, oh, wait, suspenders was, yeah, it's the same thing, um, shirt was the green one, I believe, Where it was it was white. Oh, there it is, yeah. Um pants. It's okay, people, it's okay. We're gonna 
these ones. Boots. These ones. These are the best boots that I think I have. I really like them. And there we go. Um, nine for gloves. All you folk can thank Uncle Micah when the eating's good. You hear? <laughs> and then hats. This is the one I've been using, yeah. Oh wait, do I have, do I have to have something for cold weather? Um I'll get a coat. How can I save a jacket on? I'll, I'll figure it out. Okay, that's Jose and Sean. This one's John and Javier. I think I'm gonna do that one. And where'd he get my horse? Where's my horse? Is it seriously not at camp? The heck? Where'd my horse go? Is it seriously not here? Oh, there. Here, get it some rest over. <laughs> Good girl. We're going to go to sleep because I am tired of. 
close. I should have gotten a rest from that. So I should be able to move on to the next mission. Okay, we're gonna. <laughs> He's always drunk. Um, what's his name? The priest. The, uh, I forgot what his name was, but it's alright. There. I just think that's so funny. Um, I think I can do both, or it's gonna let me do one or the other. If it does, then I'd rather do Javier and John with the uh, the Grays because we already have a good relationship with the Grays because I'm a deputy, so it'd be better with that. And second of all, um, I just want to see what's going on with Javier and John because I haven't done a mission with them, and I just did a mission with uh, Sean where we robbed a house and uh, and what was the, I just did one with. Uh, Jose. So, I'm going to end this episode here. I will see you guys in the next one for Red Dead Redemption 2 Part 21. See ya.